Unsuccessful on trend with one million tweets. Greg Peters smacks Meg with two Netflix project rejections. End of the deal. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have an exclusive deal with Netflix to produce original movies and TV shows. But so far, several of their pitches have been shut down. Markle and Prince Harry's company Archwell has created two Netflix original series so far, but according to a report by the Wall Street Journal, two other shows were rejected out of hand. Sources familiar with their work said that they are getting nervous about the deal's progress. Netflix co-CEO Greg Peters on the other side has stated that Netflix has continued to reject two Sussex ideas for various reasons that may disgrace the couple. In particular, since securing their $100 million deal with Netflix, Archwell has created the docuseries Harry and Meghan, which is about the Sussex relationship and their issues with the British royal family as well as Live to Lead, a show about influential activists and politicians to inspire young people. Insider said that Archwell has pitched three other shows to Netflix so far. One was an animated series called Pearl, which was originally put into development but was canceled before getting far. The other two shows were rejected outright, and Insider said that they seemed designed to replicate success shows already on Netflix. One was reportedly a sitcom with a similar premise to Emily in Paris, but with a male protagonist instead. The other was compared to the Netflix original series Heartstopper, and it would have followed a gay man as its protagonist. Netflix turned down both of these pitches, but the company has said nothing negative about its work with Archwell so far. When asked for comment, Netflix spokesperson told WSJ that Harry and Meghan was the streamer's biggest documentary premiere ever. They said, well, we'll continue to work together on a number of projects. The anonymous source for WSJ's story predicted that Netflix will not renew its deal with the Sussexes when it expires in 2025, but an official spokesperson for Archwell seemed more hopeful. New companies often make changes in their startup phase, both with people and strategy, and we are no exception. We're more equipped, focused, and energized than ever before. The spokesperson said they pointed out that Archwell has just hired actress and producer Tracy Ryerson and its new head of scripted content. Still, Archwell has already suffered one major setback in its short lifespan. In addition to the Netflix deal, the company had a deal with Spotify to produce original podcast and other audio material for $20 million. Last week, Spotify and Archwell announced that they had mutually agreed to part ways and are proud of the series that they made together. Markle's podcast archetypes will not get a second season. Also, the highly publicized TV portrayal of Meghan Markle's first meeting with Queen Elizabeth II in the popular Netflix series Harry and Meghan is believed to have had a negative impact on the reputation of the Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry. The scene which garnered significant attention has left some wondering if it was a wise decision for the couple in the long run. Kate Manzi from The Mail has highlighted the last impact that certain moments in television programs can have on public perception. Despite the show's success and numerous accolades, it remains to be seen if it has truly benefited the couple's standing. Only time will reveal the full extent of its impact. A particularly memorable scene in the Netflix series, according to Manzi, was excruciating to watch and showcase the Duchess of Sussex recreating her first meeting with Queen Elizabeth II, where she performed an exaggerated curtsy while Harry watched on, appearing somewhat uncomfortable. Manzi pointed out that such moments in television show tends to leave a lasting impression and can shape how individuals are remembered. She questioned whether these portrayals, despite their award nominations and potential wins, have truly benefited Meghan and Harry's reputation and standing in the long run. It did so much damage to everything, really, in their reputation that, yes, it was an interesting program that everyone watched. But I can't see how it's benefiting them in the long run at all. The Mail quoted her as saying, Richard Eden, the diary director of the Daily Mail, shared Manzi's sentiments and expressed his belief that the royal family would not be bothered if the series were to receive numerous awards. He explained that the damage caused by Meghan and Harry's relationship with other royals as a result of the series is considered irreparable, making many potential accolades inconsequential.